Voyager to turn its camera back towards Earth. And it was basically amounts to Earth's first ever selfie. And that picture was taken, and there was this pale blue dot. Scientists launched a spaceship on a mission that was only supposed to last five years more than 40 years ago. To everyone's amazement, however, it remains in space and continues to provide us with random data and cryptic messages. The idea that something so far away from us in outer space may still communicate with us is astounding. But scientists are scared and confused by the communications. Come explore the Voyager spacecraft's amazing journey and the mysterious communications it still sends back to Earth from billions of miles away. How can the Voyager reach us from such a great distance? What messages has it sent? Is it alerting us to something that might be dangerous? Watch through to the end as we address each of these queries. Let's begin our video at the start of our lengthy and comprehensive trip. In order to conduct research on the outer solar system and the interstellar realm beyond the sun's heliosphere, NASA launched the Voyager 1 probe. Voyager 1 was launched 16 days after its twin, Voyager 2, and more than 45 years ago. As of January 7th, it is more than 15 billion miles away from Earth and communicates with it using NASA's Deep Space Network to send and receive data and receive routine commands. It is the farthest artificial object. NASA started planning the journey in the early 1970s after a grand tour to study the outer planets was suggested in the 1960s. To increase the Voyager spacecraft's resilience to Jupiter's harsh radiation environment, engineers used information from the Pioneer 10 mission. Voyager 1 was originally intended to be Mariner 11 in the Mariner program. The mission's scope was restricted due to financial limitations, and it was renamed the Mariner Jupiter Saturn probes. As the program progressed, the probe design started to diverge significantly from the previous Mariner missions, leading to the program's renaming to Voyager. Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station launched a Titan III launch vehicle with the Voyager 1 probe on September 5, 1977. The Voyager 2 probe was launched on August 20, 1977, two weeks prior. Voyager 1 took a shorter route and reached Jupiter and Saturn before Voyager 2, despite being launched later. In January 1979, Voyager 1 started taking pictures of Jupiter. A closer approach allowed for higher photographic resolution, and most studies of the moons, rings, magnetic fields, and radiation belt environment of the Jovian system were made within 48 hours of the closest approach. Both Voyager spacecraft visited Saturn and its moons and rings after completing the gravity assist courses at Jupiter. In November 1980, Voyager 1 made its first observation of Saturn. While the spacecraft's remote sensing equipment examined Titan's and Saturn's atmospheres, its cameras revealed complex patterns in Saturn's rings. Known as the pale blue dot, Earth is depicted in the first family photo of the solar system that Voyager 1 obtained on February 14, 1990. Its cameras were quickly turned off to save power and computing resources for other devices. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 1 surpassed Pioneer 10 as the spacecraft that was the furthest from Earth from Earth, traveling 6.4 billion kilometers from the Sun. The equipment on Voyager 1 kept researching the solar system as it moved into interstellar space. Like its sister spacecraft, Voyager 2, the spacecraft's extended mission is to identify and investigate the outer heliosphere's areas and borders as well as to begin exploring the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space and breach the heliosphere on August 25, 2012. The probe was traveling at about 38,026 kilometers per hour in relation to the Sun as of 2013. At the moment, Voyager 1 is covering about 325 million miles annually, or roughly one light year every 18,000 years. Additional evidence that Voyager 1 is in interstellar space was provided by the third tsunami wave of coronal mass ejections from the Sun, which started a year later and continued until at least December 15, 2014. Voyager 1's lifetime was further confirmed in late 2017 when the Voyager team tested the spacecraft's trajectory correction maneuver engines. These thrusters hadn't been fired since 1980 before this. The mission was able to be extended by two or three years because to this research. 
However, throughout those years, the Voyager and the data it has been sending back started to do odd things. This is when the interesting part starts. The surprising data that the Voyager 1 probe returned from interstellar space has left NASA engineers baffled. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said that measurements of the spacecraft's orientation in the 1970s seem to have been taken at random or don't represent the spacecraft's potential orientation. The Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, which tracks, reports, and modifies the vehicle's position in space, is the source of the erroneous data. To send data home, the device keeps an antenna pointed toward Earth. Given the current unusual circumstances, the long-duration mission's future is uncertain. The limitations seem to be in place as Voyager 1 continues to send data from its scientific sensors, even though the data is unintelligible, the U.S. Space Agency said. Other than that, it appears to operate normally. A riddle of this kind is somewhat anticipated at this point in the Voyager mission, said Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2. At almost 45 years old, Voyager 1 and 2 are both far older than their anticipated lifespans. She has said that surprises are almost certain because interstellar space is a high-radiation environment that has never been explored by a spacecraft. Light takes 20 hours and 33 minutes to travel the 14.5 billion kilometers that Voyager 1 is from Earth. Two days pass between sending a message to Voyager and hearing back. Dodd says the engineering team has a lot of challenges. However, if it can be done with telemetry, the team will figure it out. By altering the software or using one of the spacecraft's backup hardware systems, engineers might be able to fix the issue once the root cause has been identified. They might have to tolerate the differences, though, if they can't identify the cause of the issue. Voyager 1 and its companion, Voyager 2, began their solar system exploration in 1977. Originally, they were meant to be used for research on Jupiter, Saturn, their moons, and Saturn's rings. For the journey of two planets, they had to endure a mere five years. Engineers increased the mission's goals to include Uranus and Neptune, two extra-large planets, following their initial success. The pair of spacecraft have visited four planets, 48 moons, a variety of planetary magnetic fields, and many planetary rings. The spacecraft's yearly power production is reduced by about 4 watts, which restricts how many systems it can run. To save energy, the mission team has shut down the apparatus. To date, no scientific apparatus has been decommissioned. NASA wants to continue using the Voyagers until 2025. Is this even conceivable, though, given that the probe is sending these terrifying messages? For the most part, Voyager 1 seems to be gathering and sending scientific data in a usual manner. It is taking commands from Earth and executing them. We know the antenna is still pointing toward us since we are still communicating with Voyager 1 in spite of the strange telemetry data readings. As previously stated by NASA, their team will keep an eye on the signal as they try to ascertain whether the inaccurate data came from the AACS itself or from another system that generates and transmits telemetry data. The experts are unable to say whether this will hinder the spacecraft's capacity to gather and transmit scientific data until the nature of the problem is better understood. It seemed doubtful that NASA would take any notice of these perplexing alerts from the faulty equipment, given all the signs that the space probe may soon run out of fuel. Further investigation into these mysterious facts is necessary to solve this puzzle and confirm that the veteran space mission is not broadcasting information that may be essential to our species' survival. What do you think? Do you think there is any meaning to this enigmatic data, or is it just a product of malfunctioning Voyager equipment? Kindly share your thoughts in the space provided below, and remember to like and subscribe to our channel for future content.